Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. People of God, you are welcome to our third broadcast on this series, which is tag Spirit Spans. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, thanksgiving, and adoration for the gift of life and salvation we enjoy in Christ Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank thee for dying for us on the cross of Calvary. We ask that your word will penetrate our destiny this day. Holy Spirit, our comforter, we ask you brood over us, even in today's broadcast. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Today is our third broadcast on this teaching series. And our topic for today is sexual activities which fuel the operations of spirit spans on their victims. I take that again. Sexual activities which fuel the operations of spirit spans on their victims. We are reading from the book of First Peter chapter 2, verse 11. I read from the King James Bible. It says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Now, it is a fact that no one who had had sexual intercourse with demons in their lives or in their dreams will be normal. No, it is not possible to have sexual demonic contact and still remain normal. Victims of such demonic experience go with insatiable sexual urges and end up living a miserable moral life except they are booked for deliverance. Now, we have heard of cases whereby a girl or a boy will be saying, I can't do without sex in a day, I can't do without sex in a week. When you hear things like that, you should understand that that person is under the siege or spirit spans or sexual demons. Now, there is a principal demon which has been identified to be the architect of this demonic foul play. He goes by the name Incubus and Succubus. Incubus and Succubus. It is called Incubus when a female is a victim, when a female is the one that is being harassed sexually in their dream. And it is called Succubus when a male is a victim. When a male is a victim that is being harassed sexually in their dream, it's called succubus. Now, when a victim is under the siege of spirit spans, the following abnormal sexual behaviors are common in their destiny. These demonic sexual behaviors also go a long way to fuel further activities of spirit spans in their destiny. They open up the door of the destiny of the victims to further activity of spirit spans operations. Now listen to this. A deliverance from this abnormal sexual behavior is also a deliverance from spirit spans bondage. What then are these abnormal sexual behavior? We are going to be considering six in this broadcast. In our subsequent brokers, we shall be looking at six other ones. Now, the first one here is lost. Lost. What is lost? This is an intense sexual desire fueled by erotic lyrics or graphics. When this is not curtailed by the victim, it poses a serious threat to the morality of that person. Then, two, we have what we call. Uh, fancy sex or sexual fantasy. This is an imaginary sexual behavior that is sex in the imagination or sex in the mind. In this case, the victim lives in an imaginary sexual escapade with an imaginary partner. This is an advanced stage of loss, an advanced stage of loss, which could strongly compel its victims to indulge in the same art. It is a very dangerous art as it reduces the sense of the victims to that of an animal. Now listen to the sexual fantasy is mostly fueled by visiting pornography sites, watching nude, sometimes loneliness, and over intimacy with the opposite sex. 
I want us to be aware of that. Now, number three, pornography. What is pornography? This is the dirty moral art of feeding the mind through the gateway of the eyes. Feeding the mind through the gateway of the eyes or the gateway of the ears with sexual attached materials in form of pictures, books, movies, or music. Now, pornography opens the door, opens the door of your soul to the inflow, the invasion of spirit spans. And people who sponsor pornographic material on social media, on the internet, they are agents of darkness. They are being paid by their master, the devil, because it is one of the ways people get possessed with spirit spans. So the devil is really sponsoring them to win souls for him. Now we talk about homosexuality. What is homosexuality? This is the abnormal sexual tendency to be attracted to a person of same sex. When this occurs between male, it is referred to as gay. And when this occurs between female, it is referred to as lesbian. They are sponsored by wicked sexual demons. The best way to get delivered is to expose yourself. If you are a victim, expose yourself to a, to a trusted and a mature deliverance minister to be prayed for. Now we have another one called bestiality. Bestiality is one of the dirtiest form of sexual pollution. In fact, the Bible calls it confusion. That is the language the Bible uses in Leviticus chapter 18. A situation where a woman lies down for an animal to sexually abuse her, or a well thinking man with stood so low to satisfy an animal. Beloved, this is an, the height or the peak of madness. This is the peak of madness. Now we look at the last one for today, which is masturbation. What is masturbation? This is the cumulative end of sexual fantasy. This is because the victim, in a bid to reach sexual climax, gets himself or herself stimulated until he or she is satisfied or reach orgasm. But painful enough, the satisfaction craved for is always denied because it is an abnormal and unnatural way of sexual expression. In other words, God did not design our sexual nature that way. So, the satisfaction craved for is denied. People of God, I want to pray for us. I don't know the category that you who is listening to me fall into. Are you in bondage to the spirit of loss? Are you, have you already graduated to fancy or sexual, fans, uh, you know, sexual fantasy? Are you, in, are you an addict to pornography? Are you a gay or a lesbian? You practice bestiality or you masturbate every day? I pray for you. Distance is not a barrier. Mante Kali Zubra Dabashita Reban Santalibu Zebra Katan Kadabusha I cast out that spirit of lust out of your life right now. Let the power of God come upon you. Maleba Shapa for deliverance, for deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of lust, get out of that life. I declare total cleansing by the blood of Jesus over your imagination, over your mind where your mind has been captured by the spirit of loss, by spirit spans, where your imagination has been beclouded by spirit spans, by the spirit of loss, I declare cleansing by the blood of Jesus over you. Madlika duma shata balisen deriba. Moski brati naska duma yen satu bragada santuri bashenda. Aha! I declare be delivered right now. Be delivered right now from the spirit of pornography. Yes, you demon of pornography, get out of that life in the name of Jesus. Malitre kushe parina gudia masantaya. You that is gay, you that is a lesbian, receive your deliverance right now. The power of God is coming upon you. Mashatari makuzi le kasunda. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of masturbation, let that habit. Let that habit be broken off your life. 
that habit, that habit, that so tied with masturbation, be broken in the name of Jesus. It is settled. Can you re echo? It is settled. Malisa Pala, it is settled. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.